All right, everybody, just a quick video. Um, we have our Flava Marginata, Cure Flava Marginata pin, and we had some plants in here and they just didn't do so well, so they all died. <laughs> so I went and got some monkey grass or mondo grass. We used it before, used it in other enclosures, it works fine. Um, online, you can read it has toxicity, it could be toxic animals, but we've never had any issue with it. And the, I put it in there with the ambos and they ate all of it and they had no issues. And then we also got some hostas. Just to put in here, it'll, these will hopefully grow and do better than the other plants we had. And they'll take off and, and give these flavos a little natural um, place to hide more than just their, their hide box or digging the ground or sitting in the, in the water. But you can see as I started working, they all started coming out and, and looking at me, trying to get some food that I was gonna feed them. But if I dig, dig a little bit well oh yeah see there's a worm while I was digging all these plants they were enjoying eating the worms as I was digging they just come up and see if you take it from my hand there it goes so as I was digging all these plants the worms would of course pop up and they just come over and start pounding these worms which is it's always fun it's always fun to to feed them we need to this is old i'm gonna take this out it's always fun to to give them food and watch them eat food that we prepared but it's also fun to watch them find food on their own out here in this outdoor enclosure now it's not like a straight up lots of things can get in here I mean, there, there are lots of insects in here that they can get and eat, like that one just did. But you can see we have this cover on this. Um, there's some woodies down there that were part of a confiscation that we're taking care of. But this pen is about 16 feet long and about 10 feet wide, and, or 8 feet wide. And the reason we have this cover on it is because we have a ton of raccoons. We're here in Dalton, and we have a ton of raccoons. And the raccoon, we were just really afraid the raccoons would come in and tear them up. We didn't want to have to mess with that or worry about it, so we built this nice top. And it locks. You can see it has a lock on it. So nothing's going to get in and get these guys. So Cure Flavor Marginata are great because they're really personable. I mean, they're really outgoing. You saw that guy. He just ate from my hand. I say guy. Girl. This girl just ate from my hand. And, uh... Yeah, they're, they're really personable, and the one good thing about them is you can keep them outdoors. So this is a, a exotic species, right? They come from China, Taiwan, and then some southern island, islands in Japan. Um, and I'll do another whole video on this species, but I just wanted to get a quick uh, view of what was happening. Anyways, they come from that part of the world, but you can keep them outdoors, right? In their natural habitat, it does snow. It does get cold. And then it does get hot. So they do well in a wide variety of habitats in the, as long as you're humid. As long as you're in like the eastern half of the US where it's nice and humid. You know, even some central like Arkansas, Missouri, uh, parts of Kansas and stuff like that where you still get some humidity, you're good. You can keep them outdoors. If it was really dry, I, you might, you could probably be okay as long as you watered them a lot. But I may live in really humid uh, forest where they're, where they're native to. But anyways, we'll talk about that in another one. I just want to show you real quick our little setup. Um, that was supposed to be a, a lay box, but it fills up with water. So it's really nice. It's another little feature. It's got a lot of dirt in there. It's, it's almost like a little mud bath for them, which they really like. And from what I've heard while I was over in China, um, they like to be in kind of muddy waters like that, shallow waters. So that, that's a good feature for them too. So we'll make another one to be like a little lay box uh, for them so they're not laying out somewhere in here where it's hard to find the eggs but this is uh some new plants hopefully these will take off unlike the last ones and it kind of fill in and give them some other cover for them to, to hide in anyways pure flavor marginata beautiful species